you, I'll, I'll pick up the phone. I feel bad. <laughs> just say like, yeah, you, you can listen to the phone all the time. This is, I just I just wanted to see like how many people would, you know, go to look at their phone. <laughs> editor. I'm assuming editor is the... Oh, no, it's from the person. Maybe editor is the... Who, f I, who knows? Who knows? Hey there, welcome back. I hope you had a nice holiday. While you're away, we've begun a new project. It's called Roadside Heroes. And it will be about people who encountered a car accident and helped out. Now, while you were gone, we've acquired a large pile of data. Fortunately, it's all sorted and properly filed. And it's up to you to figure out what exactly happened after each accident. Don't worry. Thanks to this brand new software we've got and your VR headset. It's much more fun than it sounds. I, I don't know if looking into a crash is meant to be fun, but yeah, sure thing. It depends, it depends on the severity of a crash. What you need to do is put the CD, I know, Asian stuff, right? Of each case into your laptop. Run the software that pops out on your screen and put on the VR headset. From then, you'll be controlling our heroes right from the moment they arrive at the scene. I have no idea how it works, but if that's not cool, then I don't know what is. The files are already on your desk. By the way, the first scenario is a tutorial. I highly recommend that you start with this one. Have fun. Mark, can I send him a text back? I, oh, I can't type. Can I put I love you? Are we just going to ignore him? Are we, are we generally not going to respond? Call. Okay. Return. Wait, no. I want to give us your... No, I don't... No, I... I don't want to give you my feedback. I want to send a message to Mark instead. Why? <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. It's fine to send a message to Mark. There's my VR headset. There's the accidents. There's my options. Profiles. Profiles is like my account now, right? We just make sure. Yeah, okay. It's my profile. It's fine. So accidents. What we got? Virtual crash test lab. The, tutor the tutorial. This was just an accident case. It's a virtual crash test lab. Uh, date was on. Oh my god, we are way in the future. It was the eleven forty-five test subject forty-five. Dummy, dummy. Oh, n not the dummy. We need to go rescue the dummy, guys. We need to make sure. Oh, the fuck. Yeah, did I nearly crash? I look down at my smartphone and pick it up. Okay, I picked up my smartphone. Press one to go on it. Hello? Thank you for the call. I'll guide you through the tutorial. For more other instructions, look at the video screens. In all accidents, your top priority is to call emergency services as soon as possible. So what's next? What's, what was that? What was that saying? Okay, so I need to hazard lights. Oh no! Oh! Your current objectives are displayed on the top left. Put out the fire! There's a fire? Oh my god, they're in. No, the flute? What's wrong with the flute? The flute's 10 out of 10. God, you're an embarrassment. How do I get out? Oh, by using my handle, of course. The warning sign on the top right is displayed. If there's something in need of your immediate action, like a fire. Come on. Whoa, I used it all? Ah, what a waste. When helping, always follow these four steps. Call for help, secure the area, assess the situation, help the victims. Uh, no. How about getting car, drive away? No, I'm joking. Don't ever do that, guys. It's, it's unacceptable. Unacceptable. So I'm going to take the emergency light. I'm going to put it here because then I don't get hit. The sign... Hold on, I put my hazard lights on then and not on. Turn the ignition, ignition off in the red car. Okay. Why my hazard lights not on? Give me a second, guys. I know the dummy family's dying, but I need... 
I'm not on. I'm disappointed. This is 10 out of 10 VR, by the way. I bet you can really feel the seats on your ass. Driver's door, open. Oh, I'm too tall for the car. Uh, car ignition turn off. Okay. In the lower left corner of the hood, you can see icons presenting all victims and their respective health bars. Ah, fuck him. Now about three, two, zero. That person dies in the scenario fails. This doesn't count if the victim was dead before your arrival. <laughs> Oh, oh, thank God. To know which health bar belongs to which victim, you need to inspect them. Got it. No problem. This technology is fantastic. I get to know people's health. God, why didn't I get it sooner? You there. Why'd you look like you've been shot? This is a car accident. Well, we better check. All right, you. Mouth to mouth first. Oh, check if you're conscious. Okay, so we're going to give you a shake. Sir, can you hear me? Sir, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> okay, the someone tells me that the Hey! Hello? Poke. Can I stab your wounds? No. Hello? Oh. oh. You know. FYI guys, if you hold it, it actually works. <laughs> just to just to let you know. I'm gonna check for Brie. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Please don't do it in my ear. Oh. All right, you're breathing. It's enough for me. I've checked your wounds. You're fine. You're you're the, you're 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 in danger. You need help. You need help urgently. Hey, wake up! Breathe in my ear. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> If you've made a mistake, you can rewind to a time to a previous stage. To do it, press and hold the rewind button and you'll see it. Okay. Then wait until the time turns back to your desired stage and release the button. This will select that stage and rewind the time. So yeah, okay, got it. No problem. We, oh, we can recall again. Hold in the rainbow. I, okay. But wait, do I want to go back to the start or? Oh, right. I've already done this. Wait. What was that? Practice how to... Oh. And then I can let go. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. I have to let go before the... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. At least this, at least this dummy won't get uh, shook as much as last time. I'm kidding. Wake up! Hey, you! Wake up! I'm joking. I didn't use the first aid box. Hi. Okay, so I need to I need to put my gloves on. Gloves, gloves on. There we go. Put my gloves on. I need to open the airway. Yeah. There you go. My CPR mask, which is here in bright red. How did I miss that? Put on your face hole. Chest compressions. Oh, fuck. Start. Ah, what am I doing? Oh, I have to like... Oh my god. That shit is stressful. <laughs> I, I have to like get it perfect. That, that's horrible. Artificial ventilation. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah. Are you breathing now? I'm not trying to kill the dummy. I'm trying to help the dummy. <laughs> dummy. Dummy dead. This is just a dumb. Oh, they're both dead? I know the dummies, but they're both dead? They let him die. I'm not a murderer. <laughs> I'm not a murderer. Hi. 
Now that you've finished the tutorial, you can start working on the real thing. Amy has prepared two cases for you to solve. Just remember, if you have any problems, you can always redo the tutorial. Mark. Thanks, Mark. But what if I don't want to redo the tutorial? Like, come on. I, 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 I practically did redo the tutorial there when I pressed the, when I pressed the rewind button. That, uh, that didn't, that didn't pan out the way I wanted it to actually. Now I think about it. I'm a disappointment to myself. The phone has been done and I still can't reply to Mark. So one thing I will ask the developer, I just want to speak to Mark. I feel like we're just ignoring him. Unless he swings by in the office. Mark? Mark? You here? I don't think he's here. Let me read a book. What's that? UFO. UFO immersion. Two skies and the sunset. What are these ones upside down? Can you guys read upside down? The butterfly? The butterfly? Butterfly by James... James... Re, uh, re, 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 re. It's a ra. Oh, it says. Let's take it out. Let's take another one anyway. So next. Fatal error. Okay, so it's an accident case. Uh, provenance of Teremo, I believe I'm saying that right. I might be wrong. I might be wrong, but it's in Italy. It's happened in 2000. Oh my God, it happened in 2012. Wow, we're going like way back. Let's do this. Oh! Wait, how did that truck get through? First thing to do is always call with emergency services, remember? Hello? Been an accident! Thank you. The ambulance is on its way. Before giving me any more information, make sure the area is safe. Will do. <gasps> Are they on? Show me. Are they on? Are they on? Close, close my door. I know those raccoons might try and rob me. Start by placing warning triangles on both sides of the road and turning off the ignition in all the cars. But, but, but. Pirates in the first aid kit. Everybody's in warning triangle. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna protect myself before I protect them. Oh my god, two of them are dead already. Oh shit. Need one. Wait, where's the other one? Oh no, wait, I'll only have one, so. Excuse me. It's jammed. Oh my god. Ugh. How do I move away? I'm buff. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me in the trunk. I'm stealing your light. Now right, we need to figure out who's who. Alright, let's quickly get in. Assess the situation. Good. Now, trying to find out precisely where you are, try your GPS if you have one. <laughs> I closed my door so the raccoons wouldn't steal my car. Sir. Oh, no. Did he? Did that go through him? Oh, no. Sir, can you hear me? Are you breathing? He's breathing. All right, we need to go find anyone who's struggling to breathe. Miss? Miss, are you okay? Check for injuries. Injuries. Oh. She's breathing. No injuries. Locked. Where is someone's missing? Rafina, are you okay? Let's get that. I'm gonna... Oh my. A broken neck. <laughs> Nothing we can do for this one. Where's the other one? Is there someone around the other side? 
Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. All right, this. All right, from when you told me you need to help the man in the SUV. Yes, yes, I know, I know. I'm gonna go help him. That's what I was gonna do. If he's hanging on the branch, cut it down and dress the wound around it, but don't pull the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's. Yeah, you don't pull now the wound. That's fucking stupid. Uh, utility knife. Uh, and the first aid kit. So we're gonna cut the branch. Very carefully, guys. Okay. We need to put our gloves on. Where's our first aid kit? There you go. Oh, we need scissors, probably. You don't want to use the knife on it. Oh! Careful. I want to get your nips out now. Push the wound with the dressing pad. And apply pressure until help arrives. So this one's got a branch. A loose branch gets stuck in the compact car wheel. Making it impossible to turn. Okay. That's one bit of evidence, right? <coughs> Oh, they got rid of the bodies and everything. A log. One of the logs smashes into the cars behind. Okay. There's something else over there as well. Amphlet. Unsecured logs fall off the logging trailer. Oh, was that? Oh, so was that a truck that went past earlier? Skid marks. Arista turns away from the accident, but loses control, loses control and hits a tree. Okay, so we got all the evidence now. So I'm assuming the unsecured logs have fell off it. Then one of the logs has smashed it, smashed it, has smashed into the car behind, which then I'm guessing like this would be linking into this really. And then that makes sense to me. So the logs are going to fall off, hit this car. That car's not like the branch is going to get stuck and unable to like turn and just crash into the back of them. Um, and then this guy, unless he, he he comes after, maybe I'm not I'm not sure who who come along first. So I'm, I'm going to try and finish the scenario and see if this is it. Nice. Oreo, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but either way, luckily, the branch that pierced his chest missed his lungs. This is this, and your immediate help ensured, uh, ensured, <laughs> ensured that despite the mine infection, his wounds healed in a reasonably short time. In a matter of, excuse the fuck out of you, I was reading that. <laughs> in a matter of weeks, he returned to work, and the accident became that uh, it became just a minor episode in his life. Atavia, I believe the name is. Despite suffering only minor injuries, Atavia suffered greatly from the accident. The moment she regained consciousness, she blamed herself for not avoiding the car in front, and the image of the accident was stuck in her memory for a long time, causing panic attacks and other PTSD-like symptoms. Despite extensive therapy, she was never confident enough to drive a car again. Ippolito, Ippolito Ferry. The log that fell on his car killed Ippolito on the spot. He was buried a week later in his hometown. After finding out that the truck driver escaped from the scene of the accident, Ippolito's, uh, Ippolito, yeah, Ippolito's family sued him and the company he worked for. After a prolonged legal battle, they won enough money to pay for his orphaned child's college. Rafina Ferry. Just like her husband, Rafina died the moment the log fell onto their car. They were buried together by their family. Her son, Renzo, nine years old at the time, was raised by his godfather and his family, and later in his life became a paramedic. Oh!
that 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 was quite intense <laughs> oh my god i leningradskaya lening leningradskaya is that oblast so leningradskaya oblast russia i am i've never ever got able to pronounce that right gonna sit here and struggle for the rest of my life because you know why it will just make things so much more easier and the worst part is is that i already tried to pronounce it and now it's here on stream and everyone can take the piss and just screw it up we are going to be responding to this accident as oleg wonderful name but the first thing is as soon as i see oleg i don't know if anyone's played saints row but does anyone remember oleg from saints row badass so i'm saying All right, Oleg, show us what you're made of. What did you figure out today? Oh, shit. Oh, is that is another car? That's another car, right? First thing to do, pick up my phone. Yeah, we're going to call them. Oh, wait, what? Can't call them. Got no signal. Uh. <laughs> call the emergency services. Is there a phone on the roadside? Do I have a satellite phone? Oh, the warning triangle's over there? Okay, I can't believe I'm doing this, but okay. Can I, oh my God. <laughs> oh, go down. I don't have signal. Give me signal, please. <laughs> this is a guy gonna be, this is gonna be a crash that's happened here this guy's gonna be walking around with his phone in the air like hello can i say no please so like one of these people has to have something right like a satellite phone or, or something sir oh you have a smartphone does yours have signal it does i'm using your data oh wait no it's a free phone call Shit! can i put the phone back i don't yeah, 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 I know. I just want to... I want to get inside your vehicle. Oh, all right, I'm going to turn your ignition up. I've marked the accident already because I was one step ahead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look both ways before you cross the road, guys. Don't, don't, don't do what I just did. Okay, I'm gonna try and move the planks. Remove. Oh, oh, so buff. Oh, I'm just putting it all there. Am I cutting it up? All right, I'm here. Driver, are you okay? I need to turn your ignition off. Eagle. I'm checking on the victims. Be quiet. I'm busy. Wait, what am I doing? Oh yeah, seatbelt. Least. Oh, <laughs> dropped his head. Oh, excellent. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Blocked by main window. Oh, no. How do I get in the back? Can I clank? Oh, no. Someone's gonna die. I'm stressed out. There's no cars coming on either side. Don't worry. I blocked it off, guys. Eagle is fine. Vadim, are you okay? Oh shit, Vadim, you look fucked, dude. Nice jacket though, by the way. You got a head injury. Are you breathing? You're breathing. Okay. All right, I got you, buddy. All right, let's get out quickly. Does that mean she's not breathing? Oh my god, his passenger door's locked. Have I got anything that I can use? Oh my god, it's so stressful. Right. Oh, an idiot. 
I can put the window down. I'm sorry, miss. Please be breathing. Please be breathing. Please be breathing. Oh, thank God. I need to save her first and then run. You, you can wait. Oh, no. Do I have blankets? Oh, what am I doing? Who's got blankets? I only have fire extinguishers. We don't need a fire extinguisher. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, oh my god. Someone's gonna die. She's gonna die first. I can pull him out first. Wait, I'm meant to be protecting you from the cold. This is not gonna make things any better. Where am I taking you? <laughs> I'm so stressed out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna take you to my car. Please, no cars, please. Oh, no, please, no car. Can I see a car? I can see a car. Oh, you're heavier than I thought you'd be. Oh, 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 it's too close, too close, too close. Get in there. Oh, no, no. Don't say I have to help him first. Can I just... <laughs> that was so easy. This looks like something. Oh, that well, there's one. Skid marks. More skid marks? Oh, more skid marks. All right, so skid marks, wrecked shack. Yeah, okay. I mean, obviously that was going to be the case, but... All right, so we've got all the evidence now. Vadim loses his control of his car while changing lanes. Then Vadim collides uh, with Mishkin's car. Pickup spins around and slides into a tree. So that's like Vadim's section done, right? So then Igor manages to control the slide and turns into the parking area which the area has gone into then he tries to slam the brakes on which locks all four of the wheels and then just keeps sliding into the shed and then the car crashes into the shed it's got to be that Should we try it madame's head injury wasn't the most serious threat to his life colliding with the tree it crushed several of his ribs which caused a lot of internal damage including a punctured lung most of these were treated at the hospital, but long bef uh, but the long recovery time meant that he had to close his business. Lesia. During the accident, Lesia suffered only minor injuries. Unfortunately, due to her advanced age and overall poor health, her recovery was slow and problematic. With the support of her husband and their children, she left the hospital after a few months. Eagle. Despite losing consciousness, after hitting the shack, Igor didn't suffer any serious injuries. The paramedics were able to revive him, re revive, revive, revive him on the way to the hospital. He was able to leave the next day. Fantastic. Look at those guys. We did a good job. Nobody died except for the bit at the start, but we don't talk about that. But we, we, we did such a, a fantastic thing. We, <laughs> no one died on the scene, but before we got there, see? Happy days, happy days. Now let's end the scenario and watch this terrifying outcome. I saw that. Vadim was just chilling. He wasn't even sat up properly. <laughs> he, was just, he was just chilling and listening to music. Is that someone's phone ringing? I can, I can hear someone's phone ringing. Can anyone hear that? I'm telling you one day, one day I'll get someone. Before it was mine for a sec. Yes! Yes! We got Mooncake!